What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And the new Charger, the RT electric scat pack, yeah, it's got a problem. Those vehicles you see driving around, the mules with the strings flying off of them, <laughs> that's so they can get in the trunk when it fails. <laughs> For the longest time. That is right guys, welcome on back to TK's Garage And it's been a busy day for news, man We've been going crazy, man But this uh, comes in from different engineers And major shout out to my dude, Butter the Insider He's literally the insider Like, when I tell you the amount of information that this guy gets is insane, man. I'm going to link his channel in the description down below. We want to try to get Butter the Insider and OC Motivator over 100,000 subscribers this year. I know y'all could do it, man. If y'all are watching here, y'all should definitely go watch over there. i link both of them in the description down below. Um, the new electric chargers, remember they were supposed to be out. They were supposed to be here by summer. You were supposed to be able to go to a dealership, put hands on them, go touch them. There's a problem. <laughs> there is a problem. If you have seen the videos we've done about the internal combustion engine Jeeps, the Wagoneers, the Cherokees, all the all the uh, the Cherokee, like Grand Cherokee L, all the different issues that we've talked about, the Ram 1500s, um, it seems that that problem isn't just confined to gas vehicles. They're having massive software problems with the electronics on these mule cars, these test cars that are supposed to be production models that they're out testing before they release them to the public, right? So what's happening is these vehicles are going out with their engineers on testing. They go out and drive them or whatever. They park somewhere, they come out, and the cars are dead. Now, I've seen a lot of different things on forums. I've seen it on Reddit. I've seen it in a couple different places. Why do these chargers have strings hanging off of the trunk? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are these electric chargers have tampon strings just flying off the back of the trunk while they're driving down the road? That's a good question. And the answer is really quite simple. We'll put this image here so you guys can see what it looks like. But the, the issue at hand with these new chargers is the electronics, when you shut the car off, they're not turning off. Remember here recently, a couple of days back, we did a story about a customer that had a Jeep uh, Wagoneer, or was it a Cherokee L? I don't remember. That was... Um, saying it was in reverse when it was driving forward, you turn the vehicle off, but all the electronics were still on. The dashboard was on, the dash was doing like the tachometer was moving, all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, that's, those same glitches, that same software problem that they're seeing in these internal combustion engine vehicles, just like that Wagoneer I showed you in person. I went out to go look at it because it was dead and they can't revive it is now happening to these electric cars, these chargers. The reason why we're not seeing them out in public is that's why. Now there's two different versions of this electric charger. There's one that has a power lift gate where you basically are gonna be able to hit a button and that back hatch will lift manually. Those are the ones that are having the problem and those are the ones that you see with the string that are pulling the manual, oh my God, I've been kidnapped, Please let me out of this release. Every vehicle has one. If you ever get into a trunk, you'll see it. Usually it glows or whatever, but you can just grab it, pull it, and it will unlock. Now, the latch on my STS in the Cadillac, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't have a soft closed trunk or anything, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And occasionally I have to open the center console in the back, reach in, and pull the latch to open the trunk. Now, this is what those strings are that you see flying off the back of these electric chargers up there in Detroit as they're testing the vehicles. The vehicles are being parked. They're going in for lunch. They're going to go 
shop. They're doing, they're driving the car like a consumer would so they could get testing in. They're driving it across state lines. They're doing all different kinds of stuff to make sure that this vehicle is ready for market. And guess what? It's not ready. And I think we're seeing the news that we're seeing now, like the Hemi has now come back to the Jeep. It's going to go back to the Ram. I think they're going to release an inline six hurricane version of the charger, maybe, if, if they can sort out the issues that they're having with the hurricane now. But they're going to go back to the old system. They're going to throw some Hemis. I'm willing to bet money there's going to be a limited edition Hemi charger. It's going to happen because... They need a reason for these dealers to push the other electric crap. And we're going to talk about that in a in a uh, in another video, but I thought it was extremely interesting to see that this is getting admitted now that they're having so many problems, so many problems with the 2025 Charger EV Daytonas whether it's the scat pack version, any of the ones that have the power lift gate, they literally are having to put strings in there because even the regular ones, they're dead. They come out after they've been driving them and the electronics are not shutting down. But what happens when you leave the electronics on in your vehicle? Battery dies. So they're literally having to go in, unplug the, the, the batteries, which evidently they can access from the trunk, and then re-jump start the car so that the electronics will power back on and they can charge the vehicles. This sounds like an absolute disaster for me. I mean, I mean, for me, it's, it's just, it sounds like a massive disaster. If I was over these, I'd be like, yeah, uh, we realize that we've gone the wrong route. We're still going to a release an electric model. We're going to call it the Banshee. We want it to compete with the, with the Tesla Plaid. That's gonna, we're not doing any of this Mickey Mouse food stamp electric vehicle crap, which we can't sell at food stamp prices anyway because all of our vehicles are massively marked up. I mean, look, we're selling the Dodge Hornet for, you know, uh, BMW prices. Fuck out of here, man. This is absolutely ridiculous to me. I, I, am, I am beyond shocked that a company of this size, right? Still, there's no excuse now. This is not an FCA problem. Tim Kaniscus is no longer there. Jim Morrison's not a Jeep. All these other executives over all these brands have left. This is 100% a Carlos Tavares uh, problem. This is 100% a Stellantis problem. They got to figure it out. They don't have any, absolutely any excuses for this anymore. They got to figure it out. And um, I don't think we're seeing a Charger EV get released at a dealership this year. Maybe maybe at the very end, you know, normally it's around August, right? Is when you'll see that next model year. You'll see those 2025s around August. I'm not seeing it. I I'm seeing maybe, maybe September, October, if the engineers get it figured out, maybe, right? But I'm willing to bet that around that time when these... If they do get a couple out, they're not even going to get a bunch. There'll be a few, right? That they're going to do an announcement and they're going to say that they're bringing a Hemi model back. Limited amount of units, you know, typical scam. But I'd love to know what you guys think. What do you guys think about the, the EV chargers having all of these issues? Because uh, I think, it, I, I, I mean, we could have, we, we've been saying that for months. We've been saying it for over a year that it was going to be a disaster. And damn, were, was everybody right? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what we do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay petty, my friends.